getting to and from different places is very important. Historically, people used to rely on stars and even maps to figure out how to navigate unfamiliar places by land and by sea. While some people use physical maps today, it's become more common to use your phone or other devices to understand your location or even get directions to places. These directions can be calculated almost instantaneously, but how does that all work? It's all made possible thanks to something called GPS, or Global Positioning System. Today we'll explore what GPS is and how it is used to find your location. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe to my channel and tell all your friends and family to subscribe too. If you like this video, remember to hit the like button down below. Now let's get started. According to National Geographic, a global positioning system or GPS is an American network of satellites and receiving devices that can be used to determine the location of something on earth. Note that other countries have similar systems, they may just have a different name. The GPS has three main parts, a satellite system, receivers, and ground stations. Let's dig a little bit deeper to explore each of these components. The first component of GPS is a satellite. Now, what exactly is a satellite? According to NASA, a satellite is a moon, planet, or machine that orbits a planet or star. In this case of a GPS, a satellite is an artificial machine that was placed into space and orbits Earth. Satellites have antennas to send and receive information. They also have solar panels or batteries for power. They can take pictures and can be used for communication by sending signals. The GPS system currently has over 30 satellites. The second key component of a GPS is a receiver. According to HowStuffWorks.com, a receiver is a device that locates satellites and uses this information to calculate the receiver's exact location using a concept called trilateration. We'll talk more about trilateration in a bit. The third key component is called the ground station. Ground stations track and monitor GPS satellites and can also send commands to the satellites. Now that you know some basic components, let's put them all together to explore how GPS works. Let's say you have a GPS device that includes a receiver and you happen to be lost. How can you figure out where you are using GPS? A process called trilateration is used, which allows you to determine the exact location. Let's go explore this process more closely. Satellites broadcast signals in all directions from their location. The signal provides location and time information among other things. These signals travel at the speed of light. The receiver in your device receives a signal from a satellite. Let's call it Satellite A. The receiver can't determine your exact location at this point, but it can collect some clues to get you closer to the answer. The receiver can determine how far it is or its distance from the satellite. Assuming the satellite is at the center of a circle, we know the distance of the receiver is the radius, or R, of the circle. Why is this important? It means that your location at this point could be anywhere on a circle at a distance of R from the satellite. Pause! Just a side note to keep in mind, in order to confirm the accuracy of a satellite's location, GPS uses a ground station. A ground station is like a fact checker. It uses radar to make sure that the satellite is where we think it is. Otherwise, the distance calculation could be wrong because it could be based on incorrect data. Okay, now back to the complicated stuff about trilateration. So let's assume our satellite is in fact where we think it is. We still haven't figured out our exact location, so where do we go from here? Your receiver would receive a signal from another satellite. Let's call it Satellite B. Your receiver would also measure the distance to satellite B. The distance is the radius of the circle surrounding satellite B. Let's call that R2. Aha! So now knowing this piece of information helps you narrow down your location a little further. Why? Because we know that your position is somewhere on circle A or B at a distance of R from circle A and R2 from circle B. That means you could be at either of those places where the two circles intersect. So that's a little more helpful in determining where you are, but 
how do we find even more precise location? Let's say your receiver gets a signal from satellite C. With this extra piece of information, we know that your position is the point at which the circle A, B, and C intersect. And that is how trilateration and GPS is used to determine your location. Keep in mind that some GPS devices use signals from the fourth satellite using the same concepts we just, just discussed but to further improve location accuracy. GPS has so many applications in our daily lives. It is used in many forms of transportation including aviation, rail, car, and even maritime travel to provide location. GPS can even be combined with other maps or navigation applications to provide up to the minute direction based on your location. And now that's some pretty awesome technology. Thanks for joining me in the STEM AG adventure. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and drop a like. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter too. See you in the next video.